Good morning. Welcome to my very first ever day in the life vlog. I am so happy to have you here following along. Today I'm going to take you through a typical day in my life as a teacher during distance learning. It is right now about 7.15 a.m. I always try to get up and start my day with some form of exercise just to get my body moving, my brain working. This morning that is going to be a run outside, so I will catch up with you after that. Before I head out, I just wanted to point out that this morning I get to go on my very first shorts run of the season. It's supposed to be about 20 degrees outside today, so I'm really excited to finally be getting the shorts out and putting the cozy winter pants away. All right, I am back from my run. I did about 6K this morning. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit chilly at first, but in the end I don't regret the shorts. It's looking like it's going to be a beautiful day after all. So now I'm just going to head inside, shower, and get ready for my day. Okay, so I am ready for my day. Um, this morning we start with a staff meeting and that's at 9 o'clock. So I'm just going to kind of be preparing for that this morning. I'm gonna do a couple chores around my kitchen just to make sure that my house is clean and that's not something that I'm thinking about throughout the work day. I wanna get my workspace ready with the materials that I need for the day, make some coffee and get myself set up for my staff meeting. espresso machine that I am totally obsessed with but because I've been drinking multiple cups of coffee a day it just seems I keep coming back and refilling my coffee lately during distance learning I've just been making a pot of coffee to start the day Another thing that I love to do in the mornings is just to fill up my diffuser with some nice scents just to get my workspace smelling really good and fresh. This morning I'm going to be diffusing peppermint and eucalyptus. I love to diffuse these oils after a run just to refresh my lungs while I'm working. share my outfit with you really quick. Today I'm just wearing a black casual jumpsuit. Over it I put on this big robe-like sweater. It's pretty much like a house coat but just a little bit cuter. Um, and this is what I'm wearing for my work morning. So I have set up my workspace just at my kitchen table and it kind of looks like a variation of this every single day. I've got my computer, which I do most of my work on. I've got an iPad there in case I need another form of technology or a little extra device to help me out. I've got my glasses, water and coffee are my major staples, a notepad where I just mark down any notes or things that I need to remember throughout the day, and then some hand cream because I have been washing my hands more than I normally would and trying to keep my skin a little bit more moisturized than it has been lately. So this is what my workspace looks like now from home. So it's just about nine o'clock. So I am sitting just at my kitchen table. I've got my computer set up ready for my Google Meet for my staff meeting. And I also have a big bottle of water because every morning I try to drink some water before I start drinking coffee for the rest of the day, um, especially because I went running this morning. So I'm just gonna be waiting for um, the meeting to begin and sipping on some water.
We are about 15, 20 minutes into our staff meeting. So I just grabbed my coffee um, and I'm gonna sip on that as I continue to get the information that we need for the week. So our staff meeting just ended, um, it's about 10.15, so it was a little bit over an hour long, but it was the only one that we've had so far this week, so there was a lot that we needed to get updated on and chat about, and it was also our support staff's last working day today, as a lot of them were laid off due to budget cuts in our education system, unfortunately. So they kind of had a chance to <laughs> say a thank you, have a little cry, and um, it's really disappointing to have, you know, our support staff be leaving us, but hopefully everything will be back to normal soon enough. So, However, we also got some news about report cards and end of the year assessments, which is something that we've all been kind of waiting to hear about what we, the expectations would be. So it was nice to kind of have that put out there, cleared up, just to know what we're expected to do moving forward in terms of feedback and grading. Um, so I feel a little bit relieved to have that information now. We are also planning a little parade or procession with our students next week where all the teachers will gather at school and families from our school are invited to drive by. We can wave and blow kisses and whatnot and just get to see each other. So that was another really positive aspect of the meeting this morning, really good news and something to look forward to in the near future. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but today is Wednesday and our district had decided that all learning plans for the week go out on Wednesday morning following staff meetings. So my next task for the day is to email all of my parents, send out the learning plans for the week. And because I am using Google Sites for my students, um, which I'll touch on a little bit later in the video, I also just wanna make sure that everything on there is published and ready to go for my students to do their learning for this week. I will also just pop over on Google Classroom. It's one of my students' birthdays today, so I wanna put a post on there wishing her a happy birthday. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. So at this point, I have sent out my weekly learning plans and I just posted quickly on Google Classroom, letting my students also know that week five work is live on the website with the link and put the post up so that if they have any questions, they know where to ask them and that I am available to help. Okay, so that's kind of what my morning looks like on Wednesdays, simply because that's the day that we send our learning plans out. Um, it's really important that I stay pretty close to my computer on Wednesdays because the learning plans just went out in case parents or students have any questions for me. I actually am about to head into the school because I have a face-to-face -face meeting with um, one of my administrators. I just asked for some help with supporting my students a little bit better than I feel like I am right now. So we decided to have a meeting and a little chat. So I am going to be heading to school. Um, that's not an everyday thing. We have the choice to work from home or school and I'm just gonna be heading to school for a little bit today. All right, so I just arrived at school for my meeting. It is right before 11 o'clock. I'm not very early by any means. Um, but this is just a meeting to offer me some extra support. Um, one of the biggest challenges out of this whole thing has been supporting the needs of such diverse students and I guess I'm not satisfied with how it's going so far. So there's still so much time left that I really want to just not settle and continue to get better and make those changes. So hopefully this meeting offers me some clarity and some suggestions about things that I can change moving forward and therefore will have a positive impact on my students and their families. at school my classroom looks a little bit different still not totally cleaned out because I have definitely been putting that off but all my stuff is kind of stacked in the middle and no students it just always makes me sad to come in here 
It is about 11.30. I'm just getting out of my meeting. And you guys, I feel like a thousand times better. Um, probably one of my biggest problems is asking for help. I'm a super independent person just by nature. And I get frustrated when I can't accomplish something on my own. So it takes a lot for me to ask for help. And when people come through for me, I'm just so touched. So I'm really happy with the goals that we've set moving forward and the support that we are both gonna work together to offer students and families. Okay, I am back home after being at the school for that meeting. And it is a little bit later in the day, closer to one o'clock now. So I am gonna spend my afternoon pretty much at the computer. I have some videos to edit I want to monitor Google classroom a little bit more carefully see how my students are progressing with their assignments that went out this morning um, but I am starving I haven't eaten yet today um, my school has kind of only set the standard that we need to be working from 8 30 to 3 30 every day and of course we can put in our own <laughs> breaks um but i feel like because they're not set i continually forget to eat i'm not really a breakfast person but i find that i'm also skipping lunch and it just gets to the point in the afternoon where i am absolutely ravenous so i'm just gonna quickly make up some soup partly because i have not gotten groceries in a very long time and partly because i absolutely love this soup so that is what i will be having for lunch today and then i'm gonna get settled at my computer and i'll show you a little bit more of my google site and explain how that has been working for me in my classroom Okay, so it is a few hours later now. It is almost three o'clock. I have just been sitting at my computer for the afternoon. I'm currently editing a multiplication games video that will have already been up by the time this one is, um, but I'm giving parents and other teachers, I suppose, examples of egg carton math games that will help students to master their multiplication facts. So I'm just editing that so that it can get up on my channel. I have also been keeping an eye on Google Classroom, trying to make sure that assignments are going smoothly for any students who are working on them today. Um, I don't think too many students are active. It's probably our most beautiful day outside yet, weather-wise of the spring. So kind of understandable that they're spending their day outside getting some fresh air and that's totally cool with me. There's plenty of time this week to get their work done. But I have just been monitoring that. Um, I thought I would spend a few minutes just running you through my Google site and kind of showing you how I have my home learning set up. I think one of the interesting things that I like seeing in other teachers day in the life vlogs is how their district or their school has set up distance learning. I think everyone kind of has their own take on it and their own way to make it happen. And it's really neat to see the different ways that people are taking the different approaches and what's working and what's not. So let's jump right in. So this is my online classroom. I just use Google Sites to create this. One of my grade level partners actually recommended that we take this approach in online learning and I'm so happy she did. It has been a totally positive experience for me and I would highly recommend checking it out if you are not using this. It's just an excellent way to organize the information and put all of your content in one space. So when my students come on, they have just this home page and there's a little message. I use bitmojis all throughout my site. Um, every week I post the learning plans. We post a literacy learning plan, numeracy learning plan, as well as a religion learning plan for the week. Um, they're supposed to do about five hours between numeracy and literacy, and then an extra half an hour of religion. Any other subject areas or activities are totally optional. So I have my weeks and I color coded them so that when students are going through this site, for example, this week it's yellow. So when they're going through this site, anything that has a yellow background is something that is assigned this week. If we go to the language arts page, for example, um, there are their assignments. So task one, they're doing a hyperbole assignment. Task two, 
they are working on instructional writing and task three is a read aloud that I've recorded. We're reading the boundless right now. So I've linked a lot onto Google Classroom, but this way I'm kind of able to give them the step-by-step -step instructions and there's very little room for confusion. Math this week is the same thing, yellow background. Um, I asked them to work on an estimistory. They post their guests on Google Classroom. Um, they're working on a basic facts review and practice slideshow on Google Classroom. And I also did a little bit of an assessment on long division because I was having some issues giving them feedback because I wasn't able to sit down obviously and do the work with them. So I really wanted to do a little bit of an assessment just to check in, see where we're at and see where we need to go next. Task four, there to complete a math minute and fill out their math minute recording sheet um, throughout the week. So then my only other, I guess, required assignment is for religion but I always choose to include extra assignments so they can click on art. And of course there's something there for them to flip through and check out for the week. In social, I have posted something about landforms because we're getting into the regions of Canada. In science, I posted an escape room kind of testing out their critical thinking skills. For health and fitness, I often post out post um, a workout of some sort or give recommendations of things they can do to get outside, enjoying the fresh air and getting some exercise. This week I did a what's your name activity. It is absolutely not mine, I found it online, but I love it, they can spell their, their own name, their names of friends or family members, and it gives them a workout doing all sorts of different activities. And then the last page on my website is chats and they're able to go to this Google Doc, open it up and um, chat with one another just but through typing. And then of course I have links as well. So all of the different kinds of programs that I'm advising families to use that I've had positive experiences with are linked right on there for easy access. So I just find because I my school is already a Google for education school, um, Google Sites works so effectively because I can insert slides, docs, links to Google Classroom right on there. And it's so easy for my kids and their families to navigate to different places, to find the material, to find the content, to find the assignments. And that way I can also design it in a way that I think makes sense to families as well with the different colored backgrounds, the tasks, the step-by-step -step instructions, and all of the links are in one place as opposed to clicking links in emails and documents and having some things on Google Classroom. It's all in one place that they can always refer back to. And it allows me to keep track of past work as well. So I am keeping all of my weeks up there and I just add to it as we move forward. So if a student is sick or goes away for example and they miss out on week three, then they can go back and see what I put out for week three and try to catch up on their assignments in that way. I would love to hear what your school or district is doing or has recommended for you to use as a platform for sending out materials for kids. So feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what your school is doing or your child's school is doing, what's working, what's not working, or if there's anything that I could provide assistance or help you with, let me know that as well. I would love to hear from you. One of the things that I have been really wanting to get around to is getting rid of some of my clothes that I just don't reach for anymore. I kind of took it on as a Lent project trying to do the donate 40 pieces of clothing for 40 days. I went a little overboard and came up with three huge bags of clothing. During this time, I finally have a little bit more time on my hands to clean up, get things done that I normally wouldn't get done when I have a busy schedule. And I just think it's really important to find the good in all of this. So one of the things that I really appreciate is having the time to do some of the things that I wasn't getting accomplished before. So this is something that I'm going to do today. I'm gonna to pack up my car with these bags and drop them off at a donation center so that they're out of my house and able to be used by someone else. 
Well, that ended up being a little bit pointless. As you could see, the bin was overflowing already. So now I just have three full bags of clothes in the trunk of my car, but that's okay. Um, I'll be able to drop them off some other time, probably perhaps closer to the end of when this is all over. Um, what I did also do though is go get gas in my car and I haven't done that since before all of this. So at least before March. Um, so it's been a really long time and it ended up costing me less than $24, which is certainly the cheapest it's ever been in my whole life for me to fill out my car. So that was a bit of an experience that will probably go down in history for a lot of us. But what I did realize when I was out on my drive is it is an absolutely beautiful day. So I think I'm going to get changed and head down to the lake for a little bit of a walk and to enjoy some fresh air and sunshine. Made it down to the lake. Unfortunately, the lake is still pretty frozen. Lots of signs of winter around here. But we can finally see sand and the ice is starting to melt. So that's a good sign for summer. All right, I'm going to do my first little hand dip. See how cold it really is. Whew. Yep. Won't be swimming in that anytime soon, I'm afraid. Ha! Huh. I am back from my walk. Didn't end up going very far, but it was nice to get out anyway and down to the lake on such a beautiful day. Um, I haven't eaten since lunch, so I'm getting a little bit peckish. So I think I will whip up some tacos for supper. If you know anything about me, you know that tacos are one of my favorite foods. So I'm really looking forward to that and just some relaxing time this evening. So it's a little bit later now, almost eight o'clock. I am back at my computer. I have some tea and some Skinny Pop and I'm just reviewing my students' novel study reflection questions from the last week. I feel like I spent a lot of time today editing videos and also answering some questions about this week's assignments and I didn't feel like I spent very much time actually reviewing their work, so I'm just making up for some of that right now. Um, I know a lot of teachers need to keep that set schedule of at 3.30 I can shut my computer and so I do, but I do find myself, I'm able to kind of come back to my work in the evening sometimes if, I, if I'm not feeling satisfied with how much I got done throughout the day or just to kind of set myself up for tomorrow a little bit better. So if I get these assignments reviewed tonight, then I'll be a little bit more prepared to move on to something else tomorrow and make some progress in that way. I have officially shut my computer for the night. Overall, it was a pretty productive day. I worked until about four, and then I ended up phoning my dad and chatting with him for a bit before I went for a drive and a walk. But I think I am going to end the vlog here and try to catch the latest episode of the Michael Jordan documentary before I turn in for the night. If you enjoyed today's day in the life vlog, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for following along with me today and I will see you next time.